Captain Marvel opens March 8th here in the United States and most other countries, um, but it didn't have a China release date until recently. This week, or I think last week, it was announced that Captain Marvel is going to open March 8th in China too. So that means that Captain Marvel is basically getting a day and date release date at the same time all around the world. I think in most or all major countries and a blockbuster these days would play at. Marvel a lot of times has chosen to do a staggered release date with a lot of their other movies. Not all of them, but many of them, I think. But with Captain Marvel, it's basically opening the same place all over the town. It's the same opening the same place everywhere. Now, DC's done that pretty famously, I think, with BVS. I think they opened everywhere the same day, pretty much. And I think a couple of other movies. And so I think Marvel's following the release strategy where they want this movie to have as massive of an opening weekend as possible to build up the hype and the buzz. You know, if Captain Marvel is you know, opening worldwide and has a huge, massive global total box office, it's going to look undeniably, like, strong to a lot of people when those headlines come. You know, the worldwide box office, like, two or three hundred million or whatever, which, you know, is the plan. Now, hopefully this is all, you know, it, hopefully this is made in good faith, but it could be the fact that maybe they're worried that it's not going to make as much money as it will in the United States. And so they need this China release date and other like worldwide release dates to buoy it. Because, you know, those initial projections that I saw, you know, for it to get 140 to 180 million opening weekend. I did say in my original video, my previous video, that even though 140 and 180 is massive, that's early projections. And as we get closer to the release date, those projections could go down or up. 180 opening weekend is like pretty massive for a brand new character most people have never heard of. I know a lot of people are definitely like, there are a lot of passionate Marvel fans and this movie is connecting to Infinity War and there's also a lot of them who like want to see a Marvel female superhero leader or movie. But you know, 180 is pretty high domestically. We'll see though. I mean, maybe Captain Marvel will make 180 million domestically. And on top of the, um, you know, China release and all these other country, you know, release dates, that, you know, will be staggering when you add all in all those, when you add all those totals in with the domestic release date total. Now, there are a lot of people, I think Captain Marvel could do really well in its total box office before it leaves theaters, but there's actually quite a few people online and other YouTubers who think that it, you know, might not, you know, make huge amounts of money. And that a lot of what we're hearing, all this early news is, you know, just buzz or hype, you know, Disney trying to pump up the movie artificially. I don't know. I mean, there's no evidence of that, but that's what a lot of people other people seem to think is going on with Captain Marvel. I have no idea. We aren't going to know how well the movie's going to do until it gets here. I myself think it'll be profitable for Marvel. I don't know how profitable. I don't think it's going to make a billion or anything, but I do think it's going to make enough money for Marvel to make a profit off of it. But, you know, we'll see. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.